من چرش دیگه از مردم بخورم دوی من چرش ریبسی بوردم تم معامله و چقاسو چیخو موکرد دوزار و پازده من چشت من اردم When Dirbas came, obviously he had a treatment history of um, failing standard TB treatment, and he actually also had a treatment history of taking some multi-drug resistant TB medications. And so when he came, we were worried that he might not respond to our treatment, but we hoped that he would. And so we actually started a standard MDR TB treatment for him. Um, we didn't have any tests to, to determine whether or not he had uh, extensively drug-resistant TB or whether he was sensitive to the medications we had, kind of what the picture was. So we relied just mainly on our clinical um, suspicion or, or what following him and then of course just using what we have. Uh, and so initially when we started him on treatment, um, he actually became, became better. Um, you know, he started to, to gain weight um, his fevers lessened, his cough decreased, the sputum decreased, and then actually at one point um, his sputum AFB smear became negative, and so we were relieved initially that, okay, he is responding to treatment and uh, he is going to get better, but his culture, sputum culture, which is what we rely on, never became negative, um, and then a few months into the treatment um, actually his smear pot, his sputum smear became positive again. And so that's when we knew that we had a probably an extensively drug resistant TB case on our hands and were uh, really obviously concerned by that. Medications that we eventually got because of the, our coordination with the IOM and help from the, the Global Fund and um, yeah, you know, help from Dr. Seifel. Those medications, they are, they're available. They're new, newly being used as drugs for extensively drug resistant TB. Um, they weren't, they'd never been used in Jordan. We'd never been able to procure them or even tried to procure them in Jordan. Yeah. Fasagabra <laughs> 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 <laughs>